This next guy's here all the way from Billings. I want you to give a huge hand for Ken Palmer, everybody. Every time I drive past a traffic sign that says bump, I'm always disappointed. <laughs> because there's never any cocaine. <laughs> I recently uh, visited my hometown of Chicago uh, back in May. And while I was there, I ran into some people that I hadn't seen in many years. And they asked me where I'd been, and I said, Montana. And their response was, oh, so how does it feel to be back in the States? <laughs> yeah, the Chicago public school system is not where it needs to Then I showed them, showed them a picture of my wife, and they were like, huh. So, uh, you couldn't find any black women in Montana to get married to? <laughs> and I said, no. <laughs> it's Montana. <laughs> There's only like five black women in the entire state. And I'm related to all five of them. <laughs> I was lucky to find a Mexican woman to get married to out here. Do you know how many white women are in Montana? <laughs> the factory where all white women are made at is in Montana. <laughs> it's called Gianforte Laboratories. <laughs> Before I met my wife, um, I dated a woman who had a very serious mental health issue. She was a Christian. <laughs> she started and ended every sentence with, by the grace of Jesus. <laughs> and one night we're on the phone talking and out of nowhere she goes, by the grace of Jesus, Ken, you need to grow up by the grace of Jesus. I said, excuse me? She said, you heard me by the grace of Jesus. You need to grow up by the grace of Jesus. I am sick and tired of your lifestyle. I said, my lifestyle? She goes, yes, by the grace of Jesus. All you ever want to do is walk around and hang out with your homeboys and associate yourself with whores. And I said... Kind of sounds like you just described your best friend Jesus. So <laughs> she dumped me by she dumped me that night by, by the grace of Jesus. <laughs> There's a security company that operates in Billings. They might operate in Bozeman too. I don't know, but I do not like the security company at all. It's called Sundown Security. <laughs> Every time I see one of their vehicles, I get really angry. Because it makes me feel like I'm living in a sundown town. Now, for those who may not know, a sundown town is an American town that's extremely dangerous and life-threatening to all people of color once the sun goes down, hence the name, sundown town. So basically, uh, think, think Laurel, for example. <laughs> town motto of Laurel is, hey, I'm not racist, I have a black license plate. <laughs> now, now, Lockwood, on the other hand, I wouldn't categorize Lockwood as a sundown town. L Lockwood has its own set of totally different problems. I mean, Lockwood is okay, I guess, but when it comes to, how can I put this, when it comes to having sex with people who are not directly a part of your bloodline. <laughs> I don't believe they've ever tried that in that small town. <laughs> Wanna hear something sad? When I got married, 
the day before my wedding was my bachelor's party. My bachelor's party was at Planet Lockwood. <laughs> and that was my first time ever in a strip club. So imagine being introduced to strip clubs by going to Planet fucking Lockwood. <laughs> it was me and 11 other, other dudes. It, it was literally a dozen of us. So imagine 12 black dudes walking into Planet fucking Lockwood. <laughs> Everybody was nice though, especially this one guy named Henry. He was sitting at the front and he just threw me a bunch of money and was like, man, that stripper right there, she's the best one to go to. So he gave me a huge wad of money because my people told him that I was getting married the next day. So I took the wad of money and I threw it out stripper that he wanted me to throw it to and I was like, I just threw it like, Ugh. bring that ass to daddy. And Henry got pissed off and said, hey, 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 that's why I draw the line. I am her daddy. <laughs> and her brother. <laughs> and her cousin, three times removed. <laughs> and her stepdad. <laughs> and her half uncle. <laughs> so you treat my sister, daughter, stepniece with some goddamn reflect. <laughs> Thank you guys. Good night. Ken Palmer, everybody. Holy shit. Keep it going for that, dude. My God.